Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Ghost, and today we're playing some more World of Warships Legends. And yeah, I hope you all are having a good one. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're gonna go on. We're gonna go and head on over to the wheel and spin and see what we are going to be playing in today's video. Let's see what we're gonna get here. So. Tier 4 through 7 ships, and the ship we're going to be playing today is the Dallas. There you go. All right. I actually quite like the Dallas, so this is going to be interesting to say the least. Let's head on over to WoW's Legends, and let's go ahead and play the Dallas. So, Tier 5 American Tech Tree Light Cruiser. What do I know about this ship? Well, it is very dirty, let's just say that. The Dallas is an excellent cruiser. It's got 10 6-inch guns. It's got decent maneuverability, decent speed. At tier 5, this thing's a little HE spamming menace, okay? And don't sneeze on the AP as well. The AP, pretty good as well. American AP at the end of the day. If we go and take a look, we got uh, we got three sonars on my build, four kilometer detection of ships, 2.8 torpedo detectability, and we got some catapult fighters. We've got the Stars and Stripes camo. Looks pretty nice. And we've got the Legends 4 year veteran flag as well. And we got the Epic Battle Booster on, because these are nice to have on for all the extra bonuses uh, that help you in battle. Take a look at the specs, you've got 28,300 hit points, and this thing has no armor, so keep that in mind, and it has, like, no torpedo protection, so try not to take big hits if you could freaking help it, okay? Uh, we got, of course, 10 uh, 152 millimeter guns, we've got a triple turret on the front and the back, and there's also a dual turret on the front and the back as well. Five guns aft, five guns forward, okay? Uh, the fire chance on my build is 15% with a 2100 maximum HE shell damage, 3300 maximum AP shell damage. My firing range on my build is 17 kilometers. Reload is 7.1 seconds on my build. A defense is pretty good um, for a tier 5 cruiser, so keep that in mind. Uh, planes will get shredded if they fly over this thing long enough. Maneuverability, 33.5 uh, uh, knot speed on my build with a 650 meter turning circle radius with an 8 second rudder. Not too bad for a cruiser. And the concealment, I've got 11.1 .1 by C, uh, 10, by, uh, 10 uh, detectability by air um, while firing main guns, and 6.9 base by air with a 5.4 kilometer detectability while firing in smoke, and of course a 2 guaranteed. Um... Go take a look at the armor. This thing has 16 millimeters, pretty much plastered all over the place. Now, there is a little bit of deck armor. It uh, looks like 25 millimeters on the deck, which isn't going to stop a whole lot. So, this thing is not very armored. It's very squishy. It's going to take big hits. Remove all the armor and just leave the last one here. As you guys can see, the Citadel is pretty big. So, you got to watch out for large caliber armor piercing. Just keep that in mind. And if we take a look at the overview, this ship was actually never a thing. It was never built, believe it or not. I know, an American ship that was actually never built at Tier 5 is really weird. Um, it was designed, I believe, but it wasn't built. So, yeah, it's another one of Wargaming's uh, paper ships, if you will. But it's got surgical shells. Um, it's got reloader and sluggish shot. The shells are quite floaty, and you guys are going to see that in the gameplay. Take a look at the commander. I'm running Norman Scott. It says I'm running Lady Liberty, but that's just my commander guys I have on. Uh, but I, I trust me, I am running Norman Scott, okay? Uh, I'm running Francesco Membelli and Nikolai Kuznetsov as inspirations. My base trait is Directed Impact, Beyond Range, Igniter, Punch Through, Fixated, and Fully Packed. I could put on Refill Station, um, which honestly I might do. Um, yeah, we're going to put on Refill Station. This will affect our reload, which is nice. And when we're near allies, we'll get an extra kilometer of range as well. But now our reload is 6.4 seconds, so we got, I think, a .6 off the reload there, so there you go. But that's the Dallas, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and jump right into a game here and see what we can do. Um, now remember, these videos um, are literally just one takes, guys. I'm going to literally post the game that I get, the first game I get, regardless of how good it is. If I die at the beginning, that's going to be the game. If I don't do a whole lot of damage, that's going to be the game. If I lose, if I win, regardless of what happens... This is going to be today's video, so I hope you all do kind of like this style of videos. It does show, you know, that I'm not exactly a perfect player. I have flaws, and not every game is necessarily going to be a perfect game. Not every game is going to be a barn burner. So these games in particular could go either way. You never know. You guys could witness me get absolutely wrecked, right? Got to remember, even no matter how good you are at this game, there is still a chance that you will lose, you will get die, you will get absolutely obliterated. It is how it is. 
Um, and if you can learn to accept that, it's okay, man, <laughs> right? It does get a little annoying, but, you know, at the end of the day, it, it is what it is. So, on the enemy team, we're dealing with a carrier. We got a Wesser. We got only one battleship to deal with, which is unfortunate, man. I really want to do uh, burn down some battleships this game. We got a lot of cruisers in this lobby, let me freaking tell you. So, we're going to have to probably be using the islands and stuff and just really doing our best, uh, best we can. Uh, this map in particular, not the best map in the world. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. We're going to go off to the left, though, and uh, see if we can't get between these islands and potentially set up some nice little ambushes on people and what have you. We might actually... This might be a cruiser focus game, so we might have to really um, be on our toes here. The Dallas is more of an HE slinger, and it's not really meant to get into brawls with cruisers, but it does have 10 6-inch guns, and it can very well absolutely obliterate things. Now, I am getting... Currently, I'm about to get bombed by this freaking carrier, which is not fun. I really need to get up to these islands before I, uh, potentially get yeeted across the map. Please, God, don't don't have a battleship over here. That'd be really unfortunate right about now. Not gonna lie. We just gotta keep on sailing, get to these islands, get to cover. There's not a whole lot of cover on this map, at least on this side of the map. And it looks like we got a Pensacola. Pensacola shot at us. I believe those shells are going to hit the island. So we are A-OK. -okay. And so far, we haven't taken a shot by anybody. Now, the carrier did just drop some torps. We're going to turn this way. And oh, boy. Oh, get jiggy with it. Get jiggy with it, baby. Holy smokes. That was close. Did you guys see that torpedo beat right there? Now that. If that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does. Hit that like button for that torp dodge. Holy smokes. <laughs> that was too close for comfort, let me tell you. Now, look at the minimap, ladies and gentlemen. Pay attention to the minimap. We got three cruisers coming over here, so I'm not going to bombard around this freaking corner um, because I know what's going to happen. If I come around this corner alone, I'm going to get absolutely focused down, so I'm trying to play it safe here. You know what I mean? We're not trying to be overly aggressive. Um, you know, a, a cruiser that stays alive is more important than a cruiser that dies, okay? Um, you're more you're more valuable during the end of the game when you're alive. So I'm gonna try to survive. I'm gonna keep this island here between me and these guys. And if I need to, I could always just back up and of course get behind cover. That's exactly the whole idea here. Now uh, we got the rattlehead coming out broadside, so we take some shots with the AP. We get some decent results there. We're backing up because we don't want to we don't want to deal with this shit right now. The ship is on fire. And I don't want to hear it. You can fucking get up there and do your thing, but you might die. Now, this uh, Emil Burton is just YOLOing around the island, which is an interesting strategy, to say the least, I will say. Now, we got a Konigsberg out here. We should be able to absolutely obliterate him. These six-inch guns, man, are freaking nasty, let me tell you. They are absolutely nasty. As you guys can see, we are absolutely just citadeling the crap out of him. He's not having fun whatsoever. He is not having fun whatsoever. Now, we're actually going to move up because we might be able to get some shots off the right here. That's the whole idea. And, of course, their whole entire team is over here, so... Ooh, this could be really bad for us. This could be really bad for us. We don't have torpedoes or anything, so... We're kind of shit out of luck if these guys decide to come around the corner. If they decide to come around the corner and freaking YOLO us, so... Yeah, just keep that in mind. Alright, so we got the Dallas. That's our first kill. Enemy cruiser destroyed. We got the Dallas. That's huge. So that's that's good for us. We just need to wait it out, ladies and gentlemen. We need to wait for our team to get done and get over here. I need help. Um, our team needs to freaking clean up that side and get over here. Because we Copia are going to get absolutely annihilated if uh, we don't get help soon. To port. So I'm really hoping that the team gets over here and, and uh, potentially assists us here. I mean, look, it's only me, this cruiser, and this battleship here um, defending against two cruisers, uh, or three cruisers, and a battleship, and a destroyer. We are dealing with the whole team here, pretty much. We need help. <laughs> we need help. Help. But, uh, yeah, we just need to wait it out. We don't need to be overly aggressive. So just keep that in mind. Now, we got a Minakazi coming around the corner. So we are going to switch over to the high explosive and see if we can't absolutely annihilate this destroyer for making a... We're making a very, very bad decision on his end here. That is for sure. Right. We should be able to take him out here. 
And actually, the Emil Burton gets him. That's good. That's good. A dead destroyer. A, a dead destroyer is a good destroyer in my book, so we will take it. Now, I'm trying to think, is this cruiser going to come around the island? What do you guys think? It looks like he's coming around the island. Remember the Konigsberg? The Konigsberg has torpedoes, so we're not going to bombard around this freaking island. We're not going to bomb rush. We don't want to get torped, so keep that in mind. Now, we did just get a Citadel there. That's huge. He's turning away. He probably just got his torps off. And he's almost dead. And we should be able to finish him right here. Actually, the Konigsberg gets, or the, uh, the Emil Burton gets him, but the Emil Burton is dead because, well, yeah, he took torps. So, there you go. Now, I'm worried about this battleship here, so I'm trying to go forwards here. Propulsion mod should be able to kick in here and get us flying off here. That's exactly the idea. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, positioning using islands is super important. And as you guys can see in this game in particular, we are using this island and treating it like our freaking wife right now. We are holding it dear. We are holding it true. <laughs> and that's exactly what you guys need to be doing in most cruisers. We were outnumbered on this side of the map, but we've been patient. We've been utilizing our island cover. And thus far, I'd say we've been doing pretty damn good. So I'm wondering where this other cruiser is. Um, so we got the Pensacola, obviously. Pensacola is getting absolutely annihilated. Chung King, oh, there he is. Okay. So Chung King is going around the island. We're actually going to cut north and get our guns off the right side here. Off the starboard side. And potentially uh, maybe smack this uh, cruiser around with some AP. We know we can do it. We got great six-inch guns, and the AP is more than adequate enough to absolutely annihilate him. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. Chunking is angling away, so we're switching over to the high explosive. Because as you guys can see there, the results are not too good with the AP when he's angled. So we're switching over to the HE, and as you guys can see there, we got a double fire RNG right there. Was pretty good for us right there, not gonna lie. And we should be able to do a whole bunch of damage to this guy. And hopefully take him out. So, uh, looks like the uh, Normandy just shot at us. We're turning in to dodge. Turn in. Oh, yep, we got overpen. That's all a part of the plan. And Chunking should be dead. That's our second kill of the game. And now all we have to deal with is the enemy Normandy and the enemy carrier. And we are done. So, there you go. But yeah, not a bad game so far in the Dallas. I mean, we got to utilize the AP a lot in this game. There's been a lot of cruisers, and we were dealing with a completely outnumbered side of the map. Um, we were outnumbered this whole game. Um, but we managed to actually hold them off and come out on top in the end, ladies and gentlemen. And that just goes to show, guys. Using your islands, utilizing your knowledge of the game and how things work is super, super important. Skill, man, when it actually pays off, it is nice. It is nice. Of course, with a little bit of RNG sprinkled on the top here and there, it is also nice as well. Anyway, we got nothing left to lose up to this point. So we're just going to push this guy... He looks to be focused on the uh, battleship as it is, so I'm not too worried. The battleship is dead, so he's going to turn his attention to me. Which is fine. I'm going to turn in to make myself as narrow as possible. There's a permafire. Carrier's coming in to drop. We got absolutely smacked there, but that's okay. Because he is going to die. He is 100% going to die here. So, we're going to go broadside. We're going to switch over to the AP. We're going to aim in the bow there just a little bit. And down he goes. That's our third kill of the game. Ladies and gentlemen... And all we have to deal with now is the enemy carrier. He's coming in with some more torpedo planes, so I'm not too worried at all. I'm not too worried. And we're going to be able to do some things to this carrier. So, there you go. And that is a perfect torpedo. Holy crap. Oh, it went right past us again. Gotta love it. And just like that, we got a high caliber. And we are just doing things this game, let me tell you. 
There's our Confederate medal. There you go. Oh, and the game ends. No! If we if we would have had a little bit more time, we could have gotten maybe even a fourth kill there. But that right there was, I think, a fantastic game in the Dallas. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Not, not too shabby. This is my first game of today. I haven't even played at all. And I just got on here, started recording for you guys, and we got this game. Hell yeah! I'll take it, man. That's the Dallas. As you guys can see, yes, the Dallas is an HE spamming unit of a ship, but... You guys can also utilize other things, such as the AP, positioning, utilizing your game knowledge. It's super important, ladies and gentlemen. We got a Confederate, a high caliber, 160 main battery hits, 11 planes shot down as well, 2 incapacitations, 3 ships destroyed, 7 fires set, 8 citadels, 1 capture zone as well, and 1 secondary hit as well. 89,000 damage, we were top of the leaderboard with nearly 2 XP off of 3k base XP. Shout out to the Emil Burton, he was also a big help on that side of the map. And uh, the Congo as well held his own pretty well against the onslaught that was against us, that's for sure. Go take a look at the economy, we made 280,000 credits, we made 6,000 ship XP, we made 480 global XP, and we made uh, 7,286 commander XP. Not a bad game whatsoever in the Dallas, but yeah. Nonetheless, everybody, if you guys did enjoy today's video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Consider becoming a member today by going down there and joining. Uh, and uh, yeah, nonetheless, everybody, I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy, as always.